Hey guys, welcome back to another installment of Playing With Makeup. I'm gonna be playing with some things that are new to me that I just hauled in my previous video, so you'll get to see those things in action, and then some forgotten loves, which we'd love to do. I've been digging through my collection since I've been going through um, my whole collection kind of decluttering, and you guys have been decluttering along with me. Thank you guys for watching that series. Your comments have been so supportive and great. Thank you so much. It's been really fun kind of going through everything, not only getting rid of um, stuff that I don't use, but also just to kind of, mm. I don't know, revisit my collection. It's really nice to kind of dig through and like really appreciate what you do love and what you do have. So that's been a lot of fun, but that has kind of reintroduced me to a lot of forgotten loves. So we'll be using a bunch of those. So before we get into it, my name is Michelle and I love luxury makeup and skincare. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you join the family here. We have a really great community going. So without any further ado, let's get some makeup on this face. All right, so let's start with some primer. I have my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base here. I love this primer. It's pretty much just like a moisturizer. I think it really does like uh, smooth your skin out. I don't think it really does any blurring, but it really is just very moisturizing. It feels great. It also smells wonderful if you're into citrus scents like I am. Um, I think you'll really like this. It also has... Anyway, it's like a citrusy fresh scent, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and start applying this. It also is very, very rich and creamy, and I think they actually recommend this for like oily skin. At least that's what I think it says on her website, but I think if you have dry skin, this is absolutely perfect. So I'm just gonna spread this evenly all over, not use too much, and you guys will probably notice this throughout the video, but I have nail polish on eight nails and not my thumbs. Why? Because I just started watching Altered Carbon on Netflix. Not a new show. I'm sure you guys have either heard of it or have seen it. One, you definitely have to pay attention. Definitely not one of those TV shows where you can be doing like one thing and like kind of watching it like, like it has 50% of your attention. No, and you need like 100% because for the first few episodes I was doing that and every time I looked up, I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, who's that? Where are they now? So I had to kind of rewatch the first few episodes, but we are, we being my husband and I, we're almost done with it. And it's really good. It's very kind of like anxiety inducing. Just don't know really what's going on. I don't think anyone in that world really knows what's going on. So anyway, I um, ended up picking off my nail polish like an idiot but I was just watching it and I was kind of doing this I didn't even realize I was doing it and eventually I picked off my left because I'm a righty and so I picked off my left thumb and I thought well that looks ridiculous so I just went ahead and picked off the right one I, I didn't want to pick off all of them but I thought this was a good idea I don't know so I thought I would pull out my Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer in SPF 15. I love this foundation. This is definitely one of my favorites. It didn't appear in my 2018 favorites. Honestly, I don't really know why. I think I've just played with a lot of great foundations and tinted moisturizers, but this one I really love. I just haven't been using it a lot lately. So I thought I'd pull it out today and I have it in the shade Vanilla. I also use the shade Glow, which is a little bit deeper, but that's if I want you know, a warmer kind of tinge to my skin. This is definitely a closer match to like this half of my face, not this half. I've got my Sonia G Base One brush. Just gonna spread that out. This foundation is so lovely. It really feels like cream on the skin. It has a lovely texture. I love how it melds with the skin. It has no scent whatsoever, which is always nice. So there is one light layer. I'm gonna add a little bit more to my eyes or my, my eye area. And this has more coverage than the Chantecaille foundation that comes in the jar, their Future Skin Foundation. That I don't have, but I tried that in store and it has a really interesting kind of like gel texture, but that has a much lighter coverage than I thought. I don't know why, I just assumed that one would have like a medium to full coverage, but it doesn't. I feel like this one has more coverage than that guy. All right, so here is a forgotten love for concealer and this is the Glossier uh, Stretch Concealer. I have it in light 10. I really just haven't used this um, at all, probably not since the beginning of last year at this point. And I really like this concealer. I don't know why it just, I don't know, just kind of got lost in my collection. So when I was doing my decluttering, I was reminded of this. So I thought I would use this today. This is a very emollient, very emollient uh, concealer. It, it definitely has to be set down. Otherwise I feel like it 
creases, it moves, but I love the texture. You know, the emollients in it is really what makes it so comfortable on the skin and really what kind of gives your under eyes like a really healthy kind of glow. But the flip side of that is that um, it does stay very, very moist. So it definitely needs to be set down. Doesn't that just look so skin-like? It's a really nice concealer. Uh -huh. But before we go in with powder, I did haul this, and this was something that was sent to me from Muse Beauty Pro. When they sent me the Viseart Koi palette, they also um, threw this in there, which I love, because I think they know I love cream products. And this is the Ket Cosmetics Fix Cream Makeup in Daiquiri. And I believe this product is waterproof. So that is very awesome. It's gotta be pretty long wearing. So I'm just going to tap a little bit on the cheeks here. What a pretty color. This I just pulled out my Chantecaille loose powder. Uh, this is talc free and I haven't used this in a little while, probably not too long. I'm pretty good at rotating through my loose powders, but I can't remember the last time I used it. So it's probably been a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap some out. I am gonna use a brush that definitely has been a forgotten love. This is the Chikahoto Artist 20-10 brush. I really love this. I love the shape of this brush because it kind of comes out and then goes back in. So it just, I don't know, it looks like extra special fluffy. And as for like bronzer contour, uh, this I really, really have not used, not only in quite a long time, but I never really use this that often. I purchased it, I used it a couple of times, and that was it. And this is the Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in 01 Mood Light. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this color down here. So I've got my Tom Ford bronzer brush. but can you see that shine? It's like a super high shine kind of bronzer. But if you want like a wet looking face all over, this is a good place to start with this bronzer. There, so that is that bronzer. I'm kind of digging this finish right now. That's really something, huh? I have that cream blush down. I think that is probably enough flush to my skin. I feel like that uh, Mood Light bronzer was enough also to add a little bit of color. So I'm gonna go straight to highlight. And if you guys just watched my highlight declutter video, I kind of unearthed this Burberry Nude Gold highlight and it's so gorgeous. I have two, I have the New Gold and I have the Rose Gold. The Rose Gold I got first and I definitely have used that a little bit more. And then I got the Nude Gold because I loved Rose Gold so much and I love this formula so much, but it got lost in the shuffles. So I'm so excited to be using this today. All right, since we have such a sheeny bronzer on, we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna use my Sonia G Sculpt 2 brush, which is uh, the brush that gives me the most intense shine. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That is a lot of shine. Well. Goodness me. Well, I think I can say for sure that if you're looking for a subtle, subtle satin kind of highlight, that this is not the one for you. Oh, Burberry. That is good. Let me tell you, if I had pulled this out more often last year, this would have been in my best of. I'm just gonna use my Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel for my eyebrows because I don't wanna use anything else. At this point, I have a lot of forgotten loves in terms of eyebrow pencils, but this is just so easy. This whole just brushing it on business is so much easier than using a pencil. I may never ever go back to using a pencil because why? All right, eyebrows done. Um, I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer that I love that I didn't use for a long time because it was lost in my drawer. When I was doing the declutter, when I was going through everything, I actually found it and was like, I can't believe this has just been sitting in my drawer this whole time. I thought it was lost. I thought I maybe traveled with it and left it somewhere. Like I thought it was not in my home anywhere and it was right in my drawer. And that would be the Viseart Seamless Eye Primer. And this is a little bit liquidy and it definitely goes on a little bit better with a brush, but I am too lazy right now to dig out one that is clean enough. So I'm just going to tap some on with my finger. <laughs> but it's not too slick that I feel like shadows kind of have nowhere to stick. There's actually a little bit of like tackiness too. It's just, it's such a good primer. I'm glad I kind of unearthed this, but it really has like a, an odd texture. It really is like uh, watery. 
And for eyes, I'm going to be using another new product, one that I hauled for you yesterday, and that is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I've heard great things about this mini palette. The only other mini palette of hers that I have is the Mini Lila, the purple one, and I thought it was fine. I thought it was okay. I, I did agree with everyone else, though. I did not think that the quality was up to Natasha Denona quality, but I thought it was, you know, it was okay. But you know, when you buy Natasha Denona eyeshadows, you want Natasha Denona quality. So I'm happy to hear that this seems to have like Natasha Denona quality. So I'm really excited to try this. And you guys know how much I love that camel palette. I love it so much. And I really wasn't gonna get this cause I'm like, if I have that, why do I need this? But my favorite excuse to purchase makeup came into play and I was like, perfect for travel. So that's why I picked this up. I am gonna go ahead actually and use some new eye brushes. These I also hauled for you guys. These are the new Sonia G brushes she released. This was after her pro set. She kind of quietly released two single brushes, the Crease 2 and the Worker 3. So this is kind of a continuation of her regular line, not her pro line. These are both um, undyed goat hair. I really need to like give these brushes a wash before I use them, but I just get like so excited. They come and I'm like, eee! I have to use them right away. So very excited. I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is called, can't pronounce that, Q-U-O-I-N, coin. It's a creamy matte. And I'm gonna just start on the outer corner here, blend in and through my crease. Oh, this is a much warmer color than what is in the Camel palette. The Camel palette light matte color is definitely more mustardy, is more yellow, less peachy. Oh, and I love this eye primer. I'm just gonna do a basic eye look. I'm not gonna get too crazy. Not like I ever get too crazy. I'm gonna go in with this uh, Sonia G Blender Pro brush. I'm gonna go into this uh, deep matte shade and I'm gonna put that on my outer corner and deepen that up a bit. This could very well be me, but I don't feel like this is blending out too nicely. I don't think this dark matte shade is blending that nicely for me. The lighter one was great. This one seems a little difficult. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's a little bit like patchy in the application. It's okay. It's just taking me a long time, I feel like, to get this looking the way I like. I am reserving judgment though on this, um, on this dark matte shade. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's move on to the shimmers. Let's see how those perform. I'm gonna use my Worker 3 brush, this new Worker 3 brush. I think I wanna use this one. I don't feel like going too warm. This one, I don't wanna say it looks ordinary, but this looks like a shimmer I would always use. This one looks a little bit more interesting. It's kind of dark, but it's also kind of like peachy at the same time. Ooh, I definitely wanna use that, okay. This may be better with my fingertip, but let's try it with this brush. Oh, it's not bad with the brush. A little bit of fallout. This particular shade I think is also a little bit more crumbly and less creamy than say like the really metallic shades in the gold palette. I think it looks nice on the lid, but yeah, I feel like it's really kind of crumbly. And because of that, I have a little bit more fallout too than I normally do with Natasha Denona shadows. I usually have very, and I know I, I feel like I'm in the minority when I say this, but with her, again, like with her gold palette, I don't really have that much fallout when I use that palette. But this one is definitely uh, more crumbly and has a lot more fallout than what I'm used to. So the one that I just used is a DC, oh, is it duochrome? Is a duochrome, which it is. Maybe that's why it's a little bit piecier and like chunkier, I feel like. It is very, very pretty on the lid though. Blend out this crease a little bit more. Well, I do like the look that I got. I'm definitely gonna keep playing with this. I will uh, report back for sure. So another new product that I hauled uh, in yesterday's video is something I just randomly picked up. I don't even know what possessed me, but this is the Natasha Denona Blackest Black Eyeshadow and I got it in Gold Rush. So this is the black that has a very squeaky container. No, this is the black that has uh, some like gold bits in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this T05 brush from Isom and kind of stamp this on and use it as eyeliner. 
I'm also going to stamp my lower lash line. That is definitely very black. I also like going underneath my eyelashes and really getting along that lash line. All right, so I just curled my lashes and I thought I would try this new Can Make Mascara. Now this is something uh, one of my viewers commented with. She recommended this Can Make Mascara and it's a Japanese brand, I believe, at least the characters look Japanese. And I got this off of Amazon and it's a really interesting mascara because it's clear and it has this little like uh, comb applicator. So I'm gonna give this a shot. She really was like, you have to try this. So I was like, then I have to try this. So here's what the tube looks like. It's like a soft baby pink and it says can make quick lash curler. And I went on to Amazon. Well, I did like a Google search for this. Amazon popped up and I thought this can't be right because it's clear. So I thought, Oh, there's gotta be like a colored version, like a black or dark brown or something. No, I think this only comes in clear. I really wanna give this a shot. So again, I just curled my lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. This is what the um, comb looks like. Isn't that interesting? My lashes definitely look thicker. They're definitely staying curled. I wanna say with most mascaras, by the time I do this, they've already kind of like fallen a little bit. Again, I have about 10 lashes for you to see, but I'm gonna get up close and hopefully you can see them. Whoa, it just got dark in here, hold on. Sorry, I just changed the lighting because the sun is like totally setting. So, uh, sorry, there's probably a little bit of a light change there. Uh, but this is really interesting and it's really making my lashes stand up. Oh my gosh, if you suggested this to me in the comments, will you please comment down below again? I'm sorry I don't remember your name. This is pretty amazing. And what I want you to comment with, if you know, is does this come in any other like color? Does this come in like black or brown or something? But from what I could tell through my Google search, they only have this clear. Thank you so much to who recommended this. I am amazed. Thank you so, so much. Absolutely amazing. Okay, Michelle, move on. Good. La Bouche Rouge was so, I mean, nice isn't even the word. Generous, beautiful. Like, thank you so much to La Bouche Rouge for sending this over to me, but this is their lipstick and they sent it to me in the color Anya. And I believe this was in collaboration with Anya Rubik, who is like a supermodel extraordinaire. And this is the red that she developed. Isn't that? <gasps> just beautiful and then in this color case it's like the perfect pairing so i think i should use a lip liner for sure let me go ahead and dig out a red lip liner for this i am going to use my charlotte tilbury lip cheat in savage rose i'm still very distracted by my eyelashes all right and now for the lipstick There is the La Bouche Rouge. I think in the viewfinder, it looks much brighter than it is in real life. In real life, there's a little depth to it. Really pretty color and not on my teeth. So that's a good sign. So last but not least, and this was the product that I was most excited for <laughs> to play around with, but right now I'm just really distracted and excited about my eyelashes. They are still curled upwards. I have the Guerlain Meteorites Compact. Again, this was something that I just hauled yesterday in my haul video. And this I have very, very high hopes for. I talked a lot about it in the haul video. This is new and I have it in the shade medium and they are supposed to mimic the actual Meteorites balls. I'm very excited. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sonia G Face One brush. I'm just gonna go in to all of the colors. God, this smells so good. I feel like it's taking a little bit for me to actually get powder on here. I don't know if it's because maybe there's like a little bit of a hard layer on top. We'll see, but I'm gonna start with this and buff in. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I think they did it. I think this is very, very close to the actual meteorites. Look at, I hope you guys can see it, but look at this buffed area. And I only buffed down here. And then this is non-buffed. So excited. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything down below in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified of my videos when I upload. And I will see you in my next video.